one of the things that comes to mind is we have tri-colored fixtures, RGB, and we have quad color fixtures, RGBA. What are the advantages? Why would I pick a quad over a tri, for instance? A um, primary reason would be your added amount of colors that you can get out of it. Red, blue, and green, you can mix a lot of colors. No doubt it's been in the industry for a long time. A lot of pro-grade fixtures are still RGB, and those type of fixtures at that price point make a pretty nice white. Uh, at this economical level, your whites aren't that great. Orange will help you get a better white or the amber. Also, like you said, amber is one of the most popular colors at a wedding right now. One slide, one color, it's pure amber, you're ready for your wedding. If you need to make oranges and we're coming into that fall Halloween season where that color scheme is more pronounced and needed and you have different types of parties going on during that year, you might need some fall colors. So to get good oranges, which is another color that's used sometimes in weddings, amber mixed into that makes the orange much better than you'll ever get out of a tricolor. Yeah. It also really helps bringing up some amber in your red and green mix to create a good yellow. In the more economical fixtures, mixing yellow is the most, it's most difficult. You see the red and green at the bottom of the projection. It's just kind of an ugly yellow. You start adding some amber to it, it smooths everything out, it looks better. But obviously, and I was thinking, I was thinking of autumn too and coming into the fall season as we are, how important that could be. But the other thing too is, is the, the, the color mixing of abilities as you're talking about. You may not need the UV in a hex fixture where amber could, could do you just fine. And obviously there are price differences too between a tri-colored fixture and a hex color fixture. So this might be something that's right in the middle. You will be paying a little bit more for a quad fixture, but in addition to getting all the extra colors that the amber offers when you mix it with the other three, you're also getting a more powerful unit in total watts. And as you mentioned, I believe you said 2.5 watts per LED on that, 3.5 watts per LED on the quad. So when you turn all of them up, that's a bigger punch mm -hmm. going on in the quad fixture than you're going to get out of the try.